Oh. Uh-oh. I'm back, y'all. Listen, I ain't did a I ain't did a stream yard with y'all. I don't know how long. But we here. So this is what I want you to do. So you it, and y'all look, I got a new camera and everything. I don't got to use my phone. Okay. So listen, what I want you to do, go ahead and um start sharing this live. Okay. Go ahead. Let me, I'm gonna do it too. I'm going to do it too. Hold on. I got us. Don't worry, friends. I got us, friends. Hold on. Everybody start sharing this right now, like right now, okay? Kentucky Derby is here, baby. We have waited all year for this. We have waited two years for the Daryl Griff experience to come back, okay? And he's coming back with a banger. He's coming back with some good people, and I can't wait to introduce you and tell you who I got hanging with you. It's already in the description. But, you know, just go ahead and start sharing, okay? Let's talk with the hottest of the hottest, okay? Miss, look, I'm telling y'all what I'm putting on my caption because, baby, I'm super excited to talk to her, okay? Boom. All right, again, everybody keep share, start share, keep share when you can. But of course, I want to introduce the beautiful, the talented Miss Coco. Matter of fact, Def Jam's number one song right now, number one artist right now on Def Jam, okay? Miss Coco Jones, how are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you? I'm doing amazing now, Miss Coco Jones. How's it feel to be like the number one artist at Def Jam? How's that feeling? I don't really know how to describe it. I'm really grateful mm -hmm. that everybody's receiving my music so well. And I'm really excited to see what else I do, what other records I break. Yes. Okay, so you already know. First, give everybody how long have you been doing music? You know, you got to start off with those. So everybody gets the I gist of it. That's hard to really say how long, because I've been singing since even before I could talk. I would hum and make music like all the time. I was always humming, even as a baby. But I started professionally around nine and 10. I was like singing in talent competitions, working in a studio. I'd go to the studio in my pajamas because I know I had to be up for school the next day. I was yes. really passionate about it at a very young age. I know that's right. You know, that actually was going to be my next question. Which one do you think that you were doing first, like acting or singing? Music was always, always first, but I'm a very worker bee. I want to do more. I'm like, I started with athletics and sports. So I'm very much like athlete when it comes to this stuff. I want to, I want to challenge myself. So acting was like another additional thing that I could do as well. And it kind of became like another thing that I love, but singing was always like the driving force. Hold on. So you said you did sports, Miss Coco? Uh, yes, I'm 5'10". Okay, well, what sports was it? What, you got to tell everybody because, you know, they're going to try, try to say you was capping. What sports did you do, girl? I was not capping. I did track. I did softball. I did basketball. I did flag football. I did gymnastics. I did cheerleading. Is that all of them? Yeah. Girlfriend, you did everything. I That's definitely right. had my That's I had right. to toe in everything, but um, it was basketball that I thought was going to take me out the hood. <laughs> I know that's right. I know that's right. So quick question. Have you ever been to the Kentucky Derby? I've never been to the Kentucky Derby, but I'm from Lebanon, Tennessee. So we do get real country over there. And I have been to some horse races, but they were not top tier. I know, right. Because this is top tier of all the top tier of right. Kentucky, uh, of horse racing. So you already know. All right. So how, what can we expect? Because you got the Joe Griff experience that's going to be happening. What can we expect in your performance? Any surprises or anything like that? I think it's going to be a really, really dope show. I, I'm kind of bringing like my countryside out a little bit. So I'm going to have like a different type of outfit than I normally yeah. do. And I want to switch up my, my songs a little bit and just give like a different flair, kind of pay a little more homage to my Southern side. I know that's right. Of course, listen, I can see the comments. Um, hi, Miss Elanda. And of course, Tina Griff says, uh, the Daryl Griff Foundation is looking forward to having you. We ready. We are super excited to have you in our city for tomorrow. Thank you. Okay. I'm excited to be there. Super excited. So you, um, so no surprises, but baby, you got to show up with this outfit. I have to tell you um, how I made the connection of your singing and your acting, okay? Mm -hmm. It started with my son. 
Okay, because he was like, Mama, Coco Jones is from Let It Shine. And I was like, you lying. He was like, no, mom. I was like, go, go pull it up on Disney Plus right now. He went and pulled it up. And so well, then I saw you, like, you have a connection that a lot of people, they don't know how to master. Okay. So you have the younger ones and you have the older ones. How do you, how do you handle that? I think for me, I have an old soul in a sense. I, I, um, when I was coming up in music, I performed a lot with older musicians that are like really really soulful so i think it brought a different element of me that i put into my music that is ageless and timeless and i also think i'm still like coming of age and i'm very much like girl next door type energy so i feel like people can relate to me and my my fans feel like i'm not just some star that they can't you know relate to or have anything in common with i feel like we all just kind of friends I know that's right, baby, because I see you. Let me tell you, was like, girl, she's talking to somebody. She is, we are <laughs> friends. Do you hear me? Like, she de- but you definitely do that. And I can appreciate that, okay? So Thank you. you said you had an old soul. Now, a lot of people, and I know you've seen it on Instagram where everybody is like, if she had like to have a second mom, her second mom would be Jennifer Hudson. The world needs to know when is the song coming out? We need an album for Miss Coco Jones and Jennifer Hudson. When is it coming out? That is hilarious. I love Jennifer Hudson. I honestly think it's such a compliment to be compared to such a, a beautiful voice and such a, a, a talented woman who's had such longevity in her career. I mean, that's all I could ever hope for. I, I'll be down to do whatever she's trying to do. And I'll talk to her. Her people will let my people know. Oh, hello, pick up the phone. We looking for you. Literally. <laughs> I know that's right for the Joe Griff experience tomorrow over at the Kentucky International Convention Center. Y'all, you don't want to miss it, okay? When I tell you that tickets are so close to being sold out, and I know how y'all do, it's going to be you at the door trying to figure out how can I get in, and it's sold out, baby. <laughs> and no, you can't call me because I ain't got nothing for you. Okay. I pinky promise you I don't. But Miss Coco Jones, how can everybody still get in touch with you? How can everybody find you? I don't know what I just did. Sorry. It's okay, girl. It's okay. Uh, it's we all do it so all the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, you guys can check me out on Instagram, Coco Jones, Twitter, the real Coco J. Um, and my music video double back just dropped yesterday. So you can check that out on YouTube. It's really dope. I like kind of like give like a little homage to, um, two can play at that game. Ooh. And I think it's like a dope little remix on that, on that movie, which is such a classic in the black community. So I'm excited. I know that. You go girl. And of course we can't wait to see you tomorrow. Okay, right. we're excited for you to come and party with us because when I tell you the Joker experience, it's a full blown experience. So I really want you just to get ready for after your performance for the party portion. Okay, because after the performance, go take you a breather or two. Okay, and then come back out and be ready to party because we have a really good time at the Kentucky Derby in the nightlife. Okay, I promise you, we okay. do. Okay, I'll be excited to see it. I know that's right. Well, one more time for Miss Coco Jones. Y'all, I can't wait to see everybody at the Joe Griff experience as well. What is, hold on, Miss Tina Griff. When I tell you they still commenting, they are still commenting. Okay, let me tell you. Yes, we have a spot for you. That's right. Listen, they got a spot for you at the at the chairs, the couches, all of that. Okay. So this is the party where you can be sophista ratchet. Okay. <laughs> this that type awesome. of party. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna have to see that. I know that's right, but you have a good one. We'll see you tomorrow, okay? All righty, see ya. Bye. Again, everybody, Joe Griff Experience, grab your last-minute tickets because I know, I know you. I know you. I know your friend. Y'all going to try to wait, and I wouldn't do it if I were you. I wouldn't do it if I were you, and I will catch you there tomorrow as well at the Joe Griff Experience. And, oh, baby, if you need more details, head to hiphopb965.com. It is all there. Y'all be good. Y'all be great. And you already know, gonna be the best version of yourself that you can be. And I'm going to catch you right back here because we're not done. My show's not over till 7. Be 36. Bye, y'all. <laughs> mm, mm.